we meet again, boo-hoo. Goodbye, old ripped jeans. Hello, my new favorites. Hey guys, I'm back with another boohoo haul. Now, I decided to do a second Boohoo haul because I was very impressed with Boohoo last time, but I didn't actually end up keeping anything from that haul. And a lot of people said that I should be sizing up more with Boohoo. Now, here's the interesting thing. I went on their website and I looked at their sizing um, charts and they actually have a sizing sort of like applicator and you put in all your measurements, you put in how tall you are, how big you are, it asks you, um, uh, what kind of stomach you have, whether you have like sort of middle, thin, curvy, you know, same with your bust, um, and you put in all these details, and then it gives you what they think your size is. Now, last time I got a size 20 for everything, and some things fit pretty well, and some things were a little bit small, and then some things were a little bit big, like in the pants, like in the jeans. Um, so since I was reordering the jeans in a smaller size anyway, I wanted to go on and have another go now that I've seen their sizing guide. But here's the interesting thing. Their sizing guide said I should have been a size 24 across the board. Now, I already know from their jeans that actually I needed to size down. So I actually got the jeans in a 16. That might have been a little optimistic. <laughs> we'll see if they fit. Um, but there's no way I'm size 24 in like jeans and bottoms. So um, even a 24 in the top, a lot of those tops in a size 20 didn't fit only just. So what I've done this time is I just to shake things up and try something a bit different is I ordered a size 22 in all tops. So we'll see that what that looks like. And if you want to know what I chose to wear today, I have stolen my husband's Harley Davidson jumper. This is legit the comfiest jumper ever. And I'm sorry if you're watching this, babe, you're not getting it back. It's now mine. Um, so yeah, let's get into the haul and see what I got this time. So, I don't know what it is, but it's pink. I think I went for mostly tops this time. Okay, so we have a pink top with balloon sleeves. I'm apparently I'm quite a fan of these because I seem to be picking them up a lot. It has sort of a peplum bottom and it has some really nice cutout like hole detailing in the front and in the back. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. Okay, the pink top. It fits quite nicely almost everywhere. I possibly could size up a little bit, but the arms feel fine. I feel like the length is okay. I don't mind the color. Um, this though is a bit, uh, I just, okay, this is my lowest cup bra. <laughs> I don't, and it doesn't work with this. Let's come closer. <laughs> This is my lowest cut bra, and you can definitely see it all the way through. Uh, you'd have to definitely be a plus size woman who does not have a bigger bust and can get away with wearing something like chicken fillets or, you know, like one of those ones with the little clips down here um, because a normal bra isn't gonna work for this top. So for me, it's going back just purely for that reason, um, because it's just not practical. But apart from that, I really like it. I think the fit's really good. Um, yeah, I like it. Oh look, another black one. Me and black. I never knew we were such good friends. Okay, so I wanted to give their t-shirts another go. Um, however, almost all of them look high-necked again, but these didn't look as high-necked, so I thought I'd give it a go. It has this super cute love heart with sort of a daisy animal print in gold, and it, apart from that, it's just a plain black t-shirt. So we'll see what that looks like on. <gasps> Keeping it, I love it. Okay, so I got the t-shirt on. It's a perfect fit. It's a great t-shirt. The neck is not too high. Um, the arms are really comfortable. The length is great. The print is cute AF. Um, it's a keeper, like 100%. 
Next up is a thin long sleeve t-shirt with, I don't know if you can see this. Let me try. With moon and stars down the sleeves. Ah, I'm stuck. And apart from that, it's just plain on the back and the front. And I thought that would be a really nice, cool transitional piece. Okay, I have on this long sleeve top with the stars and the moons. I don't know what to say about it. It is a super comfortable top. The size is great, slightly oversized and loose, which I like. I probably could have even sized down. Um, I love it. It's staying, I'm keeping it, I'm wearing it for the rest of the day. It's done. Next, I got a black top, what a surprise, with some very big bat wing sleeves. Whoop. Um, and it is quite peplumed at the bottom. Um, this looks like it's going to be really cute. I'm not loving the material of both the tops so far. I mean, it feels well made, don't get me wrong. I just am not a lover of this material. I don't even know what it is. It says it's polyester and elastin. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan, but hopefully it looks good. Okay, now I have on this black top. I love the sleeves. I think they look great. I also love this bit, how it goes down at the side. However, I'm not loving this length at the front here. I don't think it suits me, but if you don't have the sort of front bum problem that I have, I think this is extremely flattering. I think the size is the perfect fit. Um, I wouldn't want to size up or down at all, and it is an extremely comfortable top. Even though I'm not a massive fan of this material, I do really like it, and I love these arms. So it is going back, but regretfully so. What is this little cutie polka dot thing? <gasps> it's a cute little polka dot top. The material for this is quite nice. I'm really a fan. I really hope this looks good. Um, this is something a little bit different and it's not black. Who would have thought? Okay, so the polka dot dress. I love everything about it except for this. What is going on here? Like, this is the lowest cut. No one can wear this. Like, seriously, there's plenty of room there. And, but I wouldn't need to size down anywhere else. There's just not enough material. Like, it doesn't cross over enough. It needed to like, you know, cross, cross over further along or have less material, I'm not really sure. But the rest of it's really cute, so it's such a shame. I mean, if, if you don't mind wearing a cami under, it would look really cute. I've just paired it with some jeans, which is how I would wear it. It's a little bit longer at the back, which is nice. Um, but this has to go back because I'm not the kind of person who likes wearing a cami under her tops um, and <laughs> you know as much as I'm okay about having my cleavage on show this is ridiculous even for me so it's going back <gasps> this material is nice too what is this this looks like another top oh where can I find the top oh my gosh this is cute all right so we have a cute little kimono style top I don't know if you can see but the material is sort of see-through. It is lined through the center part of the top and it has these quite large rings. We, <laughs> rings, <laughs> sleeves. Um, and it looks really cute. It does come with a tie. Oh, it smells like cigarettes again. Maybe the um, warehouse workers all smoke near the packages. Does anything else smell like cigarettes? No. Just this one. Maybe the same person who tried this on is the same person who tried on the swimsuit. So now I have on this black top that had all the nice see-through sort of line material. Um, I was very excited about this top. I thought it was going to be fantastic. However, I will say it is um, quite tight. It is also quite open in the front. So if you don't mind having a lot of cleavage, um, it's fine. The sleeves are beautiful. I love them. But strangely, the tie that ties around it is so small. I could barely get it into a bow. And um, I'm thinking that maybe that was like, 
something that they just didn't think about that maybe they'd need a slightly more material for the plus size range for the for the tie um, but I mean it's going back it's too small unfortunately um, this sizing is just a bit all over the place okay I got another pair of shorts these ones are blacked with quite a lot of ripping down the front I'm quite distressed I am loving the look of these fingers crossed they fit I got these in a size 18 as well okay guys I have the shorts on the black ones with the lots of distress at the front I hate them I hate them so much they are quite tight around the waist here but they are so baggy down in the bottoms and it feels like it's giving me a major wedgie um, this could be a little bit of a sizing issue. I feel like maybe I should have sized up in these, but I feel like even if I did, they would just be too baggy in the leg here um, to look any good or to be comfortable. I feel like these probably would be really good for someone, but not me. I hate them. I really can't wait to take them off. <laughs> All right, this pair of shorts has been coming up on my advertising feed for months and every time I see it I think man this looks like the perfect pair of denim shorts so I think I got these in a size so I got these in a size 18 because shorts I find on me tend to be tighter um, and not look as good in a smaller size so we'll see what the 18 looks like but I really hope these look good and fit well because they look like the best pair of shorts ever we will see. Come on, favorite shorts look good. No, they don't fit at all. <sighs> Bad news, guys. The shorts, the favorite shorts, I was so excited to try. They don't fit at all. I cannot even come near to turning the, doing the button up. I, I just don't understand. The sizing is all over the place. Sure, it said I should have been a 24, so I would probably have to size up in some things, but the last pair of shorts fit, like at least to the point where I could get them on. They weren't the most comfortable fit, but they fit. What is going on? Next, I got a pair of black jeans. These look just like your pretty standard black jeans. I got them in a size 16. They do have some rips at the knee. I'm not sure if you can see. Well, you might see it on when my pasty legs are poking through. Oh my God. The black jeans don't fit either. I can't get my, my leg into them. My thighs are too big. This is not a good day. So, the black jeans don't fit. I can't get them past my thighs. This is completely my fault, uh, not boohoo's. I mean, I was really optimistic with the sizes. I picked a size 16 knowing that it probably wouldn't work, but I wanted to try because the other pair of jeans was so big last time, but it didn't work out for me. They're going back. And finally, the reason for this haul is the jeans I loved so much last time. I'm so excited to try these on. I hope they fit well. And finally, the pair of jeans this whole haul was inspired by. They fit, they fit perfectly. They're so comfy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I love these jeans. I mean, they are extremely distressed. I'm not quite sure if I can pull off this look, but I love them. Okay, let's just talk about sizing, right? So the distressed jeans, the lovely jeans that I brought last haul didn't fit in a size 20. They were too big. So I brought a size 16. They fit perfectly. I would not size up. I would not size down. So. I brought a pair of jeans in black in a 16. 
They did not fit at all. I couldn't even get them on my leg. I would definitely at least need to be a 20 in those. Then I brought uh, two pairs of shorts, both in a size 18, so middle of the road. One pair fit, but possibly could have been sized up or it could have just been that the fit wasn't right for my body and they weren't comfortable. It's a bit of a toss up. The other pair, I couldn't even get them on. So the sizing is all over the place when it comes to their bottoms. And then all the tops fit. Some of them even needed to be sides down in certain areas, like especially in the bust. A lot of them just didn't work or weren't quite what I wanted. Um, so they are all going back, except for this t-shirt. Um, but they did all fit. So I think I can safely say that although Boohoo thinks I'm a size 24, I am definitely not a size 24. I am probably a size 20 to 22, depending on the top. And in jeans, I am anywhere from a 16 to a 22, I would say. I have no idea what's going on with their pants. I thought that by buying two pairs of pants, uh, two pairs of jeans and two pairs of shorts, I might get some clarity on the sizing. I know picking a size 16 was a very optimistic, but in this last pair of jeans, it's the right size. So, I just don't know. I mean, all I can say is maybe if you're buying some of the jeans and shorts, buy a couple of different sizes and then send some back. I know that's not ideal and it does cost a lot of money, but I really don't know what the other option is. But I will say these jeans are amazing. They're super comfortable, super, super duper. Go buy them. They made this haul all worth it. This t-shirt is also staying I love it, but unfortunately, everything else is going back. I don't know what it is with me and Boohoo. We just can't get it together. I want to love them. I'm trying to love them. There's so many things I like about them, but we just can't make this relationship work. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me and my body. We just weren't made for Boohoo, except for in this one pair of jeans and this one t-shirt that I absolutely love and I'm keeping. Anyway, that's it for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave me comments, what you liked, what you didn't like. What's your take on the sizing issue? Because that I have found really interesting. Some people have told me that they think Boohoo runs large. I think it runs all over the place. So let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to watch another video coming out next Monday. See ya.